Hey guys, what is going on? Anthony here with Piston Stock. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, what we are going to be doing is reacting to a Detroit Pistons legend's view on the Detroit Pistons, how he views them, what he thinks of the organization. And to me, I think this guy is the greatest Detroit Piston of all time. And anytime he speaks, anytime I see an interview with him, I start what I'm doing and I listen to it. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. So if you guys didn't see, our friend Corey Woods at MLive.com had the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Isaiah Thomas. And the clip we're going to be reacting to today, uh, and Corey says right here, here's a clip of my question to Isaiah about projections for the Pistons this season. So let's listen to what Isaiah has to say and the question that Corey did ask him. So let's get into it. This this team has not made the playoffs since 2019 under former coach Dwayne Casey. They And they have not won 25 games in a season since that point. Just with the new changes, the free agent acquisitions, um, and, and then the trade they made, they brought in Tobias Harris, Malik Beasley, Tim Hardaway Jr., um, they brought back Simone Fontek, yo. Um, they still and they made some solid draft picks. They brought in Ron Holland, Bobby Clinton. Just with these moves they made this offseason, do you think it's fair to expect this team to at least 25 games this upcoming season, you know, trending towards that NBA play-in tournament team? Do you think that's a fair expectation? I mean, I... I when I talk about the Detroit Pistons, I always talk about the Pistons having very high standards. And at one point in time, you know, our goal was to be talked about in the same breath as the Celtics and the Lakers. Clearly, over the last 10 years or so, we've, we've fallen dramatically. And um, um, to hear you ask a question about winning 25 games is so disheartening and disappointing to me that that's the bar and that's the standard. So there's a lot to dig into with what Isaiah said, but I do want to give Corey just a huge shout out. Such a big interview, getting cited by ESPN last night and getting cited by Bleach Report throughout the day. Like, so happy for him. Happy that he's getting all of this recognition from big media because I know how hard that guy works. He deserves it. So shout out to Corey. But getting back to what Isaiah said. Let's start with the, the standard that Isaiah was talking about. Saying, I always talk about the Pistons having high standards. And I think when you talk about Isaiah Thomas and you talk about the bad boys and then the overlap from the Grant Hill era and then the overlap to the Golden Work Crew, the Pistons are an organization that has not one, not two, but three NBA championships. Not a lot of franchises can say that they have three championships, but the Pistons can. Isaiah and his team won two back-to-back. And the Golden Work crew with Chauncey, Ben, Rip, Tay, all those guys, Sheed, they won one in 2004, but they had a lot of success between 2002 and 2008, making six straight Eastern Conference Finals. That is not something a lot of teams and organizations can say that they've done. The Pistons have. To Isaiah's point, the Pistons' standard was really high, really high. From 2009 to, you know, 2024, basically, the standard really hasn't been that high. The bar has been set pretty low. I know they've there's been years where they, they won 44 games in 2016. They got swept by the Cavs. Uh, they went 41 and 41 with Blake Griffin, got swept by the Bucks. Uh, and they've been rebuilding since 2020 with no sense of direction. The standard's been really low. Just it's been a complete mess, and to hear just the disappointment 
in Isaiah Thomas's voice with this interview, it honestly is really sad to hear just the Detroit Pistons legend uh, say, like, you know, the, the fact that winning 25 games this season um, is the bar in the standard right now is disappointing and disheartening to him. I, I 100% agree. This is an organization that a lot of us love, fell in love with growing up, whether you were, you know, watching Isaiah Thomas and the Bad Boys or, you, you know, you were like me, you grew up on the Grand Hill era, or some of you that are a little bit younger, you, you, you kind of fell into the, the going to work Pistons. Like, this has been an organization that I think all of us have watched throughout the years. We always thought, you know, you know, you know, 40, 50 wins uh, was the standard here. But, you know, since we've been rebuilding, since Tom Gores has purchased a team, um, the standard has switched up a little bit. And that's to be expected when a new owner does purchase a team. But Tom Gores purchased a team in 2011. We're in 2024. And we haven't got anything better than an eight seed. There hasn't really been any clear cut direction. We've gone through multiple head coaches, uh, multiple front offices. I'm with Isaiah. Um, I think, you know, obviously we won 14 games last year, and that was just so hard to go through as fans, um, podcasters like myself, trying to stay positive for you guys. Um, Personally, I'm with Isaiah. I think the bar is set really low. Uh, 25 wins this season i think some of you might you know jump up and down and cheer but i'm kind of with isaiah uh, i i think the the bar and the standard has been set so low that if we win 30 games we're jumping up and down but i think the diehard Pistons fans that you know watch the bad boys watch the go in the work crew like they're they're not jumping up and down uh because this used to be a great organization a great franchise and just you know, leadership-wise from top to bottom, it just hasn't been that. Now, I'm hopeful that Trajan Langdon and his new front office can get get the ball back rolling because, um, you know, we, we, we went through this, you know, the Stan Van Gundy era. That was okay. Uh, we went through the Troy Weaver era, the rebuilding era, if you will, and now we're kind of still kind of rebuilding. Everything's just like an evaluation year this season, but... Honestly, it was really, uh, I, I, I was sad when I, I heard this part of the interview with Isaiah because I could kind of like feel the pain in his voice because he bleeds red, white, and blue. He's a piston for life. And for him to say like, you know, that's like, that's the bar. That's the standard. Now when I was here, we were trying to be as good, if not better than the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers. Two franchises that have won multiple championships throughout their history in the NBA. But, honestly, I I was sad. I want to know what you guys think, though. What do you think of what Isaiah Thomas had to say about how uh, this organization's, you know, standard and, you know, expectations uh, should be more than 25 games? Winning 25 games isn't something to celebrate about, but... Talk to me down below in the comment section. And if you guys do want to listen to the full interview that Corey did uh, have with Isaiah Thomas, I will put it in the description below. Um, It should be on MLive.com. Really good interview. If you guys have 30 minutes, definitely go listen to it. But I will talk to you guys down below in the comment section. Like always, hope you guys are staying safe. Take care. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.